Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Dream Daddy, or rather the Dad Rector's Cut. It's like, th this updated sometime last year, and I didn't know it. And, uh, I feel like we should probably start over from the beginning and see what's different. From what I remember. Apparently now, there's a friendship mechanic? Or we can befriend the dads, as, as opposed to just date them. And now we have new cut content? So I wanted to start over from the beginning just to see what cut content there was, or what I don't remember that happened in the beginning, I don't know. So we're gonna start completely fresh. Uh, maybe the same as Soldier 76 Egg Nips Dad. <sighs> Dad. Dad! Wake up! Pretend to be dead. <laughs> Pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad, this hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Uh. What? Did... Did you just moan? Into the microphone... Ugh. I don't want to hear that. It's my daughter. <laughs> Finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, man, the panda. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Fine. I'll go bathe. I guess. Build that dad. Alrighty. We're gonna let ourselves go a little bit. Actually, is this better? Is this better? Oh, we get a crop top. Did I get a crop top before? No, we're gonna we're gonna have the crop top. Heads. Uh, yeah, I'll be chiseled again. Hair. Ah, oh no, is that that's Dan? That's Aaron, probably. I don't know who that is. Uh, that looks like Ross. Oh, that looks like Ross now. Nah, whatever, whatever. Who cares? Uh, where's Soldier Hair? Goku. No. Um. I chew. Yeah, we'll we'll do this. Eyes. Is it even gonna matter? Cause I think I'm gonna have glasses on anyway. Yeah, we'll have Hanamu eyes. Ugu. Uh. Yeah, we'll do that. Mouth. Kissy lips. The kissiest kissy lips. Okay. Maybe not that. Maybe not that. Um. Yeah, we'll do kissy lips. Glasses. Oh, I actually had glasses before. Okay. I thought they would be blocked out entirely. Egg nips or burgy? Eggnips are burgy, though. Uh, I don't know. Ah, eggnips. You can't go wrong with eggnips. You really can't. Look, give myself a little. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that. Looking good, Daddy. Um. Flang. Key. Hooba stank. Flanky Hooba stank. Good enough. Hope our daughter's ready to be part of the Hooba stank family. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, Straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Wow, haven't seen these in years. Pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I could get you out, get you to stop crying, was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take him off, he'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. 
Halloween when you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume. I like how you just continued wearing green. You couldn't decide being a princess or a dragon, so you went as you went with both. Princess dragon. Hmm. I don't remember crying in that dragon costume. You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Alright, yep, definitely repressed that memory. And this was you and your horse phase. Oh. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I... Oh, shit. How do I log it? How do I show the log? There's no log! Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. The ska Manifest manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right, Emma P was the one who... Trying to steal people's pets. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. <gasps> Dad, that was me. I did that. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to make Fridays. <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the Chidi Z to Stata Blast. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad! Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. So proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one mm -hmm. last photo. Aw. <sighs> oh, that's your dad's jacket! I don't remember that part. It also looks like the cuff is a little superimposed. I finally decide to break the silence. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. The little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father... Oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh. He was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. Can't even imagine... Stuff. I don't remember the log button! Is it escape? No, of course not. She pats huh. me on the back. Come on, Pops! We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Uh. Min and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place but almost 20 years ago. Uh. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window plot? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Now there'll be plenty more stuff to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It'll be- it'll forever hold a place in my heart. But stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. Warp 7! Engage! The moving van begins to pull away and I get into... I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house anyway, disappear into the rearview mirror. So... So what? So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat to do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay. Our new house features... Uh... Multiple places to sleep. I think I chose that one last time, didn't I? Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal! I mean, if sleep work for the week, you sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. You know, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great! Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. 
I don't know how to do that either. I do. One, two, three. Actually, no. One, two, three. There you go. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're real. Don't you dare. Senior. <sighs> Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. We're just gonna ignore that, but I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? We're first willing to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go to grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then clear the area out. We'll pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Well, we get to burn that in the garbage disposal, don't we? Yeah! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority! I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich! Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Do you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? <laughs> you know it! Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog-to-person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. And I want what's best for me, too. Dog-to-person ratio being high is good. I hope you're prepared to the frequency in which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot, yes. Ulrich. Hey, it's a dog! Oh. Wait, false alarm. It's just a fuzzy, sh a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Good plan! Let's do that. I think we did this before, but it's a good plan, because dogs. Always a good plan, because dogs. Have you not seen a dog? They're adorable, I want to pet one. I got one downstairs, what am I saying? I'm gonna go pet my dog, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Turns out Dolly went to the vet, and I didn't know, so... Yeah. Amanda and I began to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom. Isn't it beautiful? And the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. <sighs> I need to breathe. <laughs> Hang on. It's not because I went downstairs and upstairs to pet a dog. It's just that I, uh, I didn't get a chance to stop for air in that whole sentence. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nearby empty bench. Or a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ugh. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. <laughs> a corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. I like your necktie. <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Pet the dog. Where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Tell that to the dog. Ah, uh, let's see. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I was messing with you, too. I'm Flaky, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, who on only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? You're looking at her! Maxwell! 
That, that's my daughter. It's not. It's someone else. Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll. Oh, shit! Everybody duck! Sorry, that was a dumb joke. Our young girl sits on a checkered blanket. Huh. <sighs> One second. I'm good. I, I just need to breathe. She's reading a book bigger than her head. Oh, so Deathly Hallows Part 2? Or, actually, no, Deathly Hallows. This is not split up into parts uh, as the book was. She puts it down and heads over to us. Hey. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Kar Karmazov. Her teacher tells me that she and the reading comprehensions, she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? <laughs> Ten! She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Can I save and do that? Yeah. Oh no, it's happening. Go on, Daisy, tell them about yourself. I... I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Grade card, spelling bee photo, band-aid. Uh, can I back? I guess I can't, so I gotta... Wait, oh! Oh, we saved from here? This isn't it. When did I save? Oh, here we go. This is it. The music died! Well, shit! I guess we'll, uh, eh, we'll do without. Apparently it doesn't like loading. Game crumps, your game broke! Hey, okay, brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh. Can't switch daughters, Amanda is your only daughter. Oh. Uh. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Extra powerful! Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't even have a chess club. Or computer lab. Winning so far. I think we're good. Uh, Amanda's in an all-seniors class this semester. Oh, really? I'm actually taking talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. Oh. Uh, let's see. Child art? Spelling bee photo? Yeah, sure, why not. Probably through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda! Daisy here is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oof. What? A canoe? We're taking it out next weekend. How's that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. I'm losing. Should I have just, like, not done that? Uh, child art? You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing from a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. This is very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding onto it. Oh, cool. We regained HP. I mentioned Daisy said her first word at ten months. Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Okay, we're fine. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. You don't say! You should talk to Daisy. She actually helped organize a food bank here in Maple Bay. Yeah, Amanda, I'm sure we could find something for you to do. It's extra powerful. He lose 20 HP. Dang, he's really got his beat. Well, shit. Do we have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Apparently so. Oh, now the music is back! You gotta fix the song cues, yo. Add some triggers in case it's not playing. Because when you load a game, it's not playing. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. You live around here? Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence, that's where we live too. 
Are we living in the same house? Probably not, because we don't live in a ranch-style house in the corner. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Ah. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Can, can I just come in by and say hi to Maxwell? Please? That, that would be good. That, that would be good. That would be very wholesome and pure. And I love Maxwell. Maxwell is best dog. Ben and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell, happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling he was trying to one-up mm -hmm. us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Aww. Never let us never speak again of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Hoobastank. <laughs> We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Go to the coffee shop, why would we- I gotta get my hands on a nice cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here, and we can check that out. Let's do it! It's a good plan! I like coffee. Coffee's good. Okay, I'm gonna save here though, and hope that the music decides to kick in! When I load again. So... We're ending the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Shro and Levy out for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!